<clears throat> Thank you very much for uh, giving a chance to uh, promote our, our work. Uh, the title of our presentation is already lengthy in the program, uh, but I decided to extend it even more. So uh, I'll talk about uh, mechanisms of ictal discharge propagation. I'll talk mostly about modeling, but then at some point <clears throat> I switch to uh, optogenetic uh, experiment where we try to stop propagating uh, seizure. We failed, but uh, we found uh, uh, the experiment consistent with uh, modeling, uh, uh, and this um, gives us uh, this reveals a mechanism of pro pro propagation. In fact, um, let's start from uh, patient. Um, in patient, uh, mm, uh, these authors uh, re recorded electrical activity uh, with array of electrodes, and uh, from these recordings, uh, you see uh, the delay of uh, de de delay of appearance of this uh, uh, discharge, which is um, ictal discharge. And uh, we can estimate the velocity of the propagation. It is less than one millimeter per second. It is in contrast to uh, the, the speed of interictal or preictal like events, uh, which are um, high amplitude but uh, very short in duration. Um, so, so this are, they, they appear here uh, almost synchronously. And my question is, what is uh, the mechanism? In our uh, experiments uh, with double patch clump uh, in slices, um, we also see the delay uh, at two electrodes remoted on uh, two millimeters. Uh, we see the, the, the delay uh, for equal discharge and uh, the velocity is uh, almost the same, so of the same order. Uh, the, the, uh, another uh, uh, experiments, uh, optical imaging, they give uh, similar um, estimates. And uh, there is a um, quite well-known plot um, by Trevelyan et al, uh, where you can see uh, the uh, dramatic uh, difference um, between velocities of rectal discharges and interictal discharges. Uh, so less than one millimeter per second for ictal discharges and tens of millimeters per second for interictal discharges. So what is the mechanism? Uh, what are potential candidates? Uh, first of all, it is uh, mm, potassium diffusion and uh, synaptic connections. They, they provide uh, special propagation, of course, and we will consider them. As to uh, electrodiffusion, um, so uh, iron uh, can be moved by uh, extracellular electric field. Uh, this effect is uh, too slow if you start to um, estimate the velocity. Uh, uh, another candidate is uh, epoptic interactions, so excitation by uh, intracellular uh, f electric field itself. Uh, uh, however, it is uh, too weak. In some preparations, um, uh, researchers observe uh, epileptic form discharges, uh, not ictal uh, like, but uh, interictal like, so short discharges and they propagate only because of uh, epoptic interactions uh, uh, with blocked uh, synaptic uh, um, connections. Uh, uh, however, uh, at least for the case with uh, ictal discharge, uh, this effect is uh, too weak um, because electric field is uh, as much as uh, one, two uh, millivolt, uh, but uh, even reversal potentials during uh, ictal discharges change on 10 uh, millivolts or so. <clears throat> uh, what's the problem with uh, potassium-based propagation? Uh, if you look at uh, 
modeling um, published in a very respected journal. Um, and uh, they presented a potassium diffusion based model. Um, we can notice that uh, the diffusion coefficient is, uh, uh, is quite different from the true uh, diffusion coefficient, so uh, s several orders uh, of difference. Uh, so the, the, the problem to explain with uh, potassium diffusion, that diffusion is too slow. Uh, and, and that is why we uh, started to reconsider uh, the problem. And we um, used as a base our uh, mathematical model called Epilepto 2, uh, proposed in 2018. And uh, it, it is a quite good model in uh, reproducing um, spontaneous uh, ictal events. Uh, spontaneous and repeating ictal events, and each ictal event um, is a cluster of interictal like events. And each uh, interictal like event is a cluster of spikes uh, for a single neuron. Uh, uh, so you, 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 you see the, the uh, uh, you can compare, and that is very good comparison for minimal model. Our model is minimal, uh, minimal, but enough to reproduce equal and interictal discharges. And it explains that um, there are only four main variables uh, governing the, prog the, pro the, the process. Uh, it is um, uh, depolarization, uh, ionic concentrations, uh, potassium outside and sodium inside, uh, and synaptic resource. Uh, synaptic resource and uh, depolarization, uh, they uh, provide stochastic uh, spontaneous interictal uh, discharges. Um, as to um, ictal discharges, uh, they are determined by oscillations of the concentrations. And the model uh, points to a sodium potassium pump uh, that it plays a crucial role uh, in terminating each ictal discharge. And it determines the timing between the discharges too. Uh, and by the way, the, the shapes of uh, our mm, plots are similar to those found in experiments. Uh, so our basic model uh, consists uh, of um, uh, four ordinary differential equations, just four um, ordinary differential equations, and plus one equation for a neuron observer, so recorded neuron, so to speak. Uh, and we extend this model uh, adding uh, the diffusion term and uh, the equation for, for connectivity. Uh, and we've got uh, propagation of ictal discharge, similar to what we uh, see in uh, experiment uh, in question. Uh, and we see the dramatic difference of the uh, speed of uh, ictal discharge and uh, interictal or preictal like uh, events, which are uh, pretty synchronous here. Uh, and uh, so, 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 so uh, so the conclusion, we have good model. So now we uh, try to understand uh, what is the major uh, effect. Uh, uh, what is more important, diffusion or synaptic connections? Uh, if we turn off uh, synaptic connections and uh, keep only diffusion, uh, we, we get um, wavefront profile uh, moving with uh, velocity uh, too uh, too small. It is, it is too slow propagation. Uh, uh, if we are opposite, if we uh, uh, turn off diffusion uh, with synaptic connections, uh, we have a uh, uh, good estimate of the speed. Uh, 
so, so our uh, answer to, to, to the question, what is the mechanism, is uh, that synaptic connectivity. Uh, however, it seems uh, from the first glance, uh, glance that uh, uh, there is experiments uh, we, uh, that contradicts. Uh, uh, in these experiments, um, authors uh, take a slice and uh, they cut the slice by a blade, so they cut uh, synaptic connections, uh, uh, but still they observe synchronous um, epileptic-like um, events, not ictal again, but uh, interictal-like, um, and um, only if they um, put plastic film between two sides, uh, uh, synchronization disappears. So uh, it seems that uh, the, 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 uh, that uh, uh, potassium diffusion or apoptic interactions, uh, some of them play a role uh, in in this case. Um, apoptic interactions, we think they are too weak, uh, but as to diffusion, we check it in the model. Uh, this is our uh, artificial slice and we cut this slice and we initiated uh, discharge uh, on left side and without the diffusion, uh, uh, we, we observe activity only on the left side and no activity on the right. But with diffusion, uh, we, we uh, observe that there is an activity, uh, there is a propagation of the discharge. So uh, at some situations, uh, uh, potassium diffusion can provide a propagation of the discharges. Um, and now we uh, turn to experiment. Experiment done by uh, Elena Smirnova. Uh, she will have a talk uh, tomorrow. Um, uh, uh, she, she did experiment in, uh, uh, with, with mice, expressing uh, channel rhodopsin 2, um, mostly in principal neurons. Uh, uh, cortical slices, uh, 4AP model of epilepsy, uh, and she used uh, application of NMDA acid in, in order to uh, to set the certain origin of uh, uh, ictal discharge and uh, to set the direction of, mov of movement of this discharge. And on a way um, of this propagation, uh, she applied uh, the idea is to apply light and um, to, to stop or to prevent this propagation uh, by this light, uh, 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 putting neurons in depolarization block. So first um, uh, we check um, uh, the effect of light. Uh, uh, if it is possible to uh, to get a depolarization block, and uh, it is so with increase increasing uh, intensity of light, uh, we see uh, in increasing depolarization. Then a neuron starts firing, and then it um, gets into um, depolarization block. And this depolarization block. Um, is maintained a uh, long, rather long time. <clears throat> uh, and now we check um, application of NMDA. Uh, yes, application of NMDA uh, provokes uh, ictal uh, events uh, in uh, recorded in voltage clamp uh, here or in uh, current clamp. And we can compare with the spontaneous uh, ictal event. Now we combine these two uh, techniques and we see that uh, if light is, uh, is weak, then uh, NMD uh, uh, provokes uh, equal discharge. Uh, if, like, if the light is strong, then um, uh, the light itself uh, initiates or equal discharge. Uh, however, uh, if you wait a minute or so, then uh, Again, uh, NMDA is uh, active, so NMDA mm, uh, initiates uh, ethyl discharge again. Uh, 
so so we 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 conclude that um, equal discharge can propagate through the zone with uh, inactive neurons as neurons uh, in the polarization block uh, how can the excitation pass through this zone uh, we uh, 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 we again turn to uh, modeling uh, this is our one dimensional slice this is a zone of inactive neurons uh, in the left hand on the left side uh, we stimulate the slice and uh, we observe uh, we observe equal discharge on the left side and sometimes uh, it uh, passes to the right side. So uh, we record it, uh, at side two. At, at side two, we see this equal discharge. It is uh, uh, actually this equal discharge, uh, which um, that, that passed through the zone. Uh, in, in, in this situation, uh, we observe uh, equal discharge on the left side, but no discharge on the right side. Um, this is XT diagram of this uh, solution, um, and uh, we see uh, for this case. So, uh, so, so, so sorry, uh, I didn't um, pay attention to the stimuli. Uh, these are uh, stimuli, so corresponding to uh, NMD based stimulation, so to speak. Um, and uh, for, uh, in response to the second stimuli, stimulus, uh, we observe uh, equal discharge only on the left side, uh, and we um, see that uh, slightly uh, concentration of uh, potassium outside cell is increased, and this effect and effect of direct uh, excitation uh, provides uh, propagation uh, um, of activity and uh, th th this uh, 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 so, so the uh, propagation of vector discharge is explained by uh, uh, synaptic connections which are uh, uh, which are more distal uh, than the uh, lengths of the zone with inactive neurons. <clears throat> uh, our conclusions are uh, first, uh, equal discharges are propagated the speed less than one millimeter per second. Integral discharges um, uh, moves with uh, speed uh, uh, tens of millimeters per second. Um, equal wave propagates by means of oxidendritic signaling, which provides at the postsynaptic sites both increase of extracellular potassium and uh, the synaptic excitation. Potassium diffusion does not affect the wavefront speed. Uh, and we uh, uh, think that uh, object genetic obstacles is a perspective tool to study and probably to prevent propagation of uh, epileptic discharges. Mm, thank you very much. And uh, as I say, uh, I send my thanks to uh, colleagues who somehow contributed to the work also. <coughs> Thank you very much. Andrew. Thank you very much. Yeah. We have maybe time for two short questions, please. So raise your hands. All right. Do you see any? No. Mm. Not yet. You can actually, in the future, prepare your hand in advance. So we will see if you would like to ask. <coughs> I don't see either. Um, okay. На панели участников кнопка поднять руку. Yes. Okay, Anton Malkov, please. Okay. Hi, Anton. Yeah. Hi, Anton. Yeah. Uh, thanks for your presentation. Um, the question is: uh, Did your model account uh, for cell swelling? Because equal discharges and inter uh, interictal. 
are pretty different uh, in the way of uh, swelling of the cells in the body. So the extracellular concentration of the potassium and glutamate may increase uh, uh, exponentially in the site of uh, seizure degeneration in the site of uh, equal discharge. Uh, so did you count uh, this uh, process uh, in your model and how uh, does it may influence the diffusion? So you, you, you mean the change of uh, extracellular volume, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Or, yeah? Yes, uh, it, it, it is very important aspect and we are working on. So the, 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 the uh, work that I've just presented is based on a minimal model. So we kept only the, the very, very um, important processes uh, so, uh, and, and took into account only four uh, main variables. So, polarization, synaptic resource, uh, uh, extracellular potassium, and intracellular sodium. Um, as to uh, volume, uh, yes, we take it into account in our detailed uh, model of uh, epileptic discharges. E yes, we, we do it. And uh, yeah, I agree with you that uh, it is very efficient uh, yeah, process. It it, it 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 tries to maintain it uh, so 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 uh, extracellular vol volume <coughs> uh, decre decreases uh, during ictal discharge and because of that uh, it changes uh, uh, reversal potentials and uh, it uh, the this is a pro-epileptic effect. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, Alexei Maushev, please, short question and short answer. Okay, thank you. Uh, so, Anton, uh, what do you think? Is there any, any similarities between uh, mechanisms of propagation of uh, ictal discharge and spreading depression? Uh, uh, I think that uh, it, so the, the focus of my talk was uh, whether um, uh, diffusion of potassium uh, plays a crucial role mm -hmm. in propagation. In case of equal discharge, it is not. But in case of uh, uh, spreading depression, it is. This is my uh, yeah opinion, but uh, I never tried to model a spreading depression. Okay, thank you. We have also one... Uh, is it specific for the internal cortex or could be meant also for the other cortical regions? Uh, it is not specific. It is uh, common for cortical structures. Okay. Thank you very much and uh, applause <laughs> from our side. Thank you. Uh, I